Hello everyone, so welcome to the second lecture of PanLab Music Production course. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about the Create tab in PanLab, the features that are included in the Create tab, and also how you can create your own project, start a new project in PanLab. As soon as you open the application and click on the plus icon, you see a interface like this and this is what we call the create tab. So let me briefly tell you what topics are we going to talk about about the create tab. So here you see a recent projects section where your all the projects that you were recently working on are sequenced. The another one is the track type heading and here you find different ways of producing music. So don't worry, I'm gonna tell you about these options in detail. So next comes the songbook heading under which you see two subheadings, hot beats and jam tracks. So I'm gonna tell you what are these in the video. Then comes the tools where you see metronome, tuner, mastering and all these. I'm gonna tell you about them too in this lesson today. So let us first start with the first track type that is the import file. We use this import file option whenever we want to use a track that is in our device storage. Like in the files, you have an instrumental of any song. So if you wanna cover a song, you will use the track as a karaoke to sing on it. So we need the import file option to import a track into a mix editor and then you can cover your songs or you can use it for editing like if you want to edit a track so you can just use the import file option to import the track from your device storage the second feature is the sampler so you can use the sampler tool to record the sounds around you like if you feel like you can create something from the sound you are able to hear from your tapping of the table or anything like that so you can record the sounds and create music you make your own instruments make your own beats and all so we are going to discuss about sampler tool in detail in the upcoming videos so this much for your basic knowledge of samplers next now let us talk about loopers so the loopers featured in BandLab gives you uh, different kinds of packs like they contain loops of different instruments they can be bass they can be beats they can be percussions they can be anything like piano synths and all so they provide you a pack of different loops of different instruments by which you can create music by arranging them in a sequence also the looper pack contains everything that you need to produce or create a song like the bass line the piano the beats the percussions etc so they contain everything that you'll be needing to create a complete song next comes the voice and audio option so the voice and audio feature is for recording your own voice for podcasts for your cover songs for everything that you want to record your voice for after this you see one of the most important features of BandLab that is the virtual instruments. By using these you can create professional tracks in BandLab. You can find different kinds of instruments in the virtual instrument section like guitar, basses, strings, synths, drum kits, percussions and also the wind instruments. This feature is a little bit different from the sampler and the looper feature because you need a little bit or I can say a basic knowledge of the instruments to create songs using virtual instruments. Then you see the guitar feature. The guitar feature is for recording your own physical guitar that you have with yourself. You can connect your guitar to your mobile phone and record it by using this feature. So the last feature is the bass. So you can record your bass guitars in this application by using this feature. So here you get to know about all the features in the track type heading of the create tab now we'll move on to the another one under the songbook heading you see the hot beats and the jam tracks so these are nothing but already created beats and tracks by different people on the application so you can just use them and fork them if you don't know the meaning of fork just uh, just consider it as you can use the tracks and you can edit them now let us begin with the tools heading. So you see a metronome option in the tools heading. Metronomes are used while creating beats. The metronome is simply a click sound that helps you while creating the beat. It clicks at regular intervals so you can guess if you are doing it right or not. Next is the tuner option. So as you very well know, tuner is used to tune a guitar. So if you have any kind of guitar and you want to tune it, so you can use the tuner option. You can tune your instruments. Then we see a mastering option so you can use the mastering option after you complete your song to enhance the quality of the song so that if you want to distribute it, if you want to upload it to some place, you can use it in the best quality. 
Now by the quick upload option, you can publish any song, any track in your device storage directly to BandLab. If you want to upload a track from your device storage straight to BandLab, you can use the quick upload option. Other than this, you can see an option called the audio stretch. So it is not a tool in BandLab. It is actually an application. If you click on the audio stretch option, it will redirect you to the Play Store where you will find an application called audio stretch. You can use this application to adjust the tempo of your song or change the key of your song. So now let me introduce you to a few terms that I'm going to use a lot in future in the upcoming lessons. So the first is a project. What is a project in BandLab? So a project is just like an envelope. You store all the data, all the work you do in, in BandLab in a project. Like if you import a track and cover a song, record your vocals, so that all together is called a project. Also, any editings you make in the first version of your song that you recorded or that you created, it becomes a revision and is saved in the project itself. So the project is like an envelope containing compilation of different instruments or vocal tracks. And it also consists all the revisions, like all the versions of your edits. So now we know what are revisions and projects. So let us now learn how we can create, save or locate a project. We have two ways to create a project in BandLab. The first one is you can select any of the track type in the given choices like the import file sampler or looper. As soon as you select any one of them, it creates a project. So let us now select any one of these. So I'm going to select the voice and audio. So as soon as I select the voice and audio, I see something like this on my screen. So I have a track one here. And as soon as I click on the cross icon on the right corner, so I see like I have a voice mic track one here and I can record my vocals here. So this was the first way how you can create a project in BandLab. Now let us talk about the another one. So let us come back to the create tab. So here you see in the bottom right corner open studio option the orange button. So you just have to simply click on it. As soon as you click on it, it shows you different track types to select from. So you can select any of these. I'm selecting the voice and audio again. So as soon as I click on the voice and audio, I see the same interface I saw a while ago when I chose the voice and audio from the track type. As soon as I click on the cross icon on the top right corner, I see something like this. And here is my voice and audio track where I can record my vocals. And this is how we create a project from the second way. So now we know the two ways to create a project in BandLab. So now let us know how we can save the project. So I'm going to use the first method to create the project again. So uh, here I choose the voice and audio. And as you can see, a project is created. Now I just have to record something in it to save it. Because if there is nothing in the project, I cannot save it. BandLab won't let me do it. So I'm going to record something in it so you can record on clicking the orange button in this bottom you can see the orange round button you just have to click on it to record and click on it back again to pause here you see i've recorded a little something now i'm gonna click on the cross icon to show you what i just recorded and what it looks like so here i click on the cross icon and this is what it looks like when you record something in your track and now as there is something in the project, I can save the project easily now. So to save the project, you just have to click on the cloud button on the top right corner. As you can see here, I'm tapping it. So when you click on it, you see these two options, save or publish. So if you click on the publish option, the project will be public to all the people who use BandLab and they can see your project. And if you click on the save option, it just saves your project and it is private and only you can see it. For now, I just want to save the project. So I'm going to click on the save option. And as soon as you click on the save option, you see a screen like this, a new project, name, description, genre and all. So you just have to put a name here that is the most important and the rest you can leave just like this it is not compulsory to fill this up so i'm gonna keep a name like test and now i can save it by clicking the save option at the bottom of my screen and as soon as i click on it i get back to my project screen the screen where i could see the track so there you see 
a bottom tag that the revision is saved it means that the version i created in my track i just recorded something it is saved and i can view it in my library so now we know how to save a project now it's our turn to learn how you can locate your projects so you have saved your project test and now you want to see it where is it so you can do it by two ways the first one is you can click on the create tab that is the plus option at the bottom of the screen you click on it and you see the recent project section and you can see the test revision so this is my project that i saved a few minutes ago so i can simply just click on it and as soon as i click on it it starts loading and it opens an interface like this and my project is open now so i can access the project by this way and the other way is that i can click on the library tab that i told you in the first lecture so the library tab is the fifth tab so you just have to click on it and you see the interface like this and you just have to make sure that you have selected the project subheading and now you can see the project that you saved a few minutes ago that is the test project now you can open it by clicking on it as soon as you click on it you see an interface like this and uh, this is the interface of your project and the project name is test and who is the collaborator everything you can see it here and now you can see a current version subheading below this tells you that what edits you made in your project at what time and you can access all of your edits and view them as a separate revision so now to access it you can just click on the open orange button and as soon as you click on it you can see what you did in the project also you can click on the three dots just above the open button and click on the view and mix editor option and that will work as the same as this open button so now it's our turn to know about what is mix editor or track view window so there are chances that you might be hearing these words for the first time so no problem i'm gonna tell you from the very basics so generally whenever you create a project like uh, i'm gonna create a project i just select the voice and audio and you see i see an interface like this and as soon as i click on the cross option i see an interface like this and this is what we call the track view window or the mix editor you can see there are a few options at the top of the screen at the bottom of the screen and this is what we call our mix editor so okay without wasting any time let us get to know what are these options in the screen you can see so let us just start from the bottom left corner you can see this option as soon as i click on this option there uh, the window slides and i can see something like this so i'm going to tell you about what is this and how can you use the features here in the next video for now i will just tell you that all the volume adjustment in the tracks we do we do it from here now the next option you see just next to it is the undo option you can undo whatever you did like you want to rewind the changes that you did so you can just click on this option and you can see the mirror image of this undo option on the right side so that is the redo option you can redo anything that you want so the bottom right option is the metronome option as soon as you click on it the metronome starts clicking and now you can see the pause option the pause option is to play our song like whatever you recorded whatever you made in the mix editor you can just click on it and play and listen to how it sounds and the orange icon in the center is the record button so as soon as you click on it you can record anything in bandlab like your vocals or your instruments that you are playing you can record them by using this option and also as uh, to pause it you can click on it again now the option left to the record button is something you need to understand like if you are creating a song if you are editing something and you have uh, just reached uh, on the timer like 2 minutes 3 minutes or you are more far away from the 0 0 timer so if you want to come back to the 0 0 position you just have to click on it once and you will be back to the 0 0 position and i am show you how you can do it and now you see a white line here on the screen this line is very important now this tells you what is your position in the mix editor like if you are scrolling scrolling and scrolling and you come to a position and you want to know where you are so you can look at the timer or the timer will tell you the position of the line so you can find out you can do all the editing with the help of this line so it pay, plays a major role in editing so wherever this line will be that will be your current position on the timer and on the ruler so uh, if you will paste anything if you will do any of the editing you will be doing at this position where the line is now let's come to the top of the screen so the leftmost option you see is the exit option as soon as you click on it you will exit your revision now the highlighted button you can see is the mix editor option so as you will click on it you can open the mix editor which is right now open in my screen and feather option as you click on the feather option you can see you can enter your lyrics here so if you are recording a cover you can write your lyrics paste them here and save it in your revision 
now you see a settings option where you can find a lot of things you can do in your project so i'm going to talk about them in detail in my upcoming videos but to tell you a little bit the tempo you can adjust your speed of the song like bpm of the song by clicking on the plus icon you can increase the tempo and by clicking on the minus icon you can decrease the tempo i'm going to tell you about signature in the next videos and the revision key you can select any revision key for your project you can change any change to any key set up a key for your project now metronome volume is the volume how much loud your metronome will sound you can adjust it how you like it the other settings you see here are a kind of confusing for you as you are just a beginner so we'll start up with them in my upcoming videos and i will tell you for sure about all of them i'm not going to leave anything here so here comes the end of this lecture you learned about the create tab and you learned about how you can save locate and access your projects in bandlab and also you learned about the mix editor or trackway window so in the next video we are going to start up with the music production basics of music production and uh, here are some key points that we are going to follow up in the course so you can have a look at these and thank you for watching please stay tuned